What up, guys? Welcome to the Running the Ropes podcast. I am your host, Kalo, here to give you the lowdown on all things wrestling. And here's my co-host. What up, boys? It's your boy, DJ. And, and this is special edition. Special edition. Welcome to episode eight, where we are going to be talking about NXT TakeOver New Orleans because it's WrestleMania week, and we are pumped. We are ready. Let's get to the matches. I don't want to be ready. Let's get to the matches. So right now, we're going to be starting off with the NXT North American Championship ladder match between Adam Cole, baby, baby. the Velveteen Dream, Killian Dane, Lars Sullivan, Ricochet, and the top 1% EC3. So this match, it, it, it's star-studded. I mean, this match is going to be the best match on the card but it could be between uh, Aleister Black and Andrade C.M. Almas. We'll get to that match later. But look at this. Look at all the talent in this match. Why is Killian Dame in there and not Eric Young? Because I guess they want to do some spots with Lars Sullivan and Killian Dane. That's the only logical explanation. And Killian Dane, for like a good couple weeks now, has been featured on NXT prominently outside of um, Sanity. Because then they, who did Killian Dane have a match with? I can't remember. He picked someone out. John Cena. John Cena. So out of all these competitors, who do you have winning? I'm just a top one percent. E C three. So you're going E C three, which is a very respectable answer. He's a top one percent. You can't beat it. Top one percent. So. This is where I'm stuck because you have all this talent. All Are you these stuck? Guys, Do you need help getting out of your chair? I'm stuck. I'm stuck forever, bro. Uh-oh. But this is a match where any one of these guys, maybe Killian Dane, I don't really see because he's probably going to get called up to the main roster with Sanity. But all these guys are championship material. I mean, I know you don't prefer Velveteen Dream, and I was the one saying he might come out as champion. But now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm really looking at the field, I'm going to have to go Ricochet. I'm going to have to go Ricochet, man. Be part of the 1%. Be part of that club. You know it should be true. You know that the top 1% is going to win it. Why are you whispering? You're making it sound like all oh, sexual shit. Oh, it's really sexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Speaking of... Oh, sexual. I, I don't know how I can relate <laughs> that to any of these next cup matches. But up next... We have the unsanctioned match between the former partners of DIY, Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. What? This is going to be a sick match. That might still take away. Take over. Take over. Take away. This take is going to take away a lot from the show. Yes, that's why I was going to go with. So you got what is essentially a blood feud because these guys just want to kill each other. Yeah. Yeah, just like us when we, when we stop rolling. <laughs> but... This match, if Johnny Gargano loses, he leaves NXT forever. And ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever. And ever. But if he comes back, or if he wins this match, he comes back. So do you think that Jar- Johnny Gargano, Mr. Johnny Wrestling, do you think he loses this match and goes on to Mania in the Battle Royale? Ah, think about it. So Think since, about it. So, first of all, my title's not on the line in these predictions. No, this is just so, for fun. This is for, shit, for fun and giggles. Um, you can have Johnny Gargano win, but then you know Stop Machapa is just going to be causing him matches. But the last couple matches, Chapa has been getting the better of Johnny Gargano. So, logic dictates Johnny Gargano is going to get one over, but he gets back. But, but if he loses, you come up the next night on Sunday... As Mania, ooh, ooh, uh, I'm gonna go with Mr. Johnny, not wrestling to some Tomasa Champa. So you're going Tomaso Champa, and I'm gonna be going with Johnny Gargano. Johnny wrestling. Johnny wrestling, just for the fact his he, wife is there, and his wife is so fucking hot. Well, all right, sure. It, yes, I agree. <laughs> but I'm just saying they've touted Johnny Gargano as not being able to win the big one. This match, his again, his career is on the line, but I don't think he—he's not finished in NXT. I'm not finished with you yet. I still think he has to win the NXT Championship. I still believe that. I don't believe it. You're, you're I, not Roman Reigns. I don't have to believe it. Believe that, but I think Johnny Gargano is going to be winning this match. He comes back to NXT, and you need a face of NXT because Cien Almas is losing. Oh, I already gave that up. 
Whatever. We're going to be moving on to the next match, <laughs> which is the NXT Tag Team Championship match between which NXT is on tonight. So we don't know who's coming out of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, whether that be the Authors or Pain, or it could be Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne, because they are facing the Undisputed Era for their titles here at NXT TakeOver New Orleans. Who do you got winning this match? Well, we talked about this, like we talked about our matches over on air. Yeah. That it could be AOP. It could be. They could win it two years in a row. Yep. They were the last people that won it. Or you can have Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne winning it. And you can have Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne winning this classic, facing the tag team champions, and then have them lose. So Have un- have Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong lose. So I'm going with them winning. Lo- um, You're going the Undisputed Era, undisputed. which is pretty much it. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go Undisputed Era too, just for the fact that you got teams like, who I love, the Street Profits coming up, who I think should have been in this position, and then you could have had a title change there. But I don't see Undisputed Era's era, no pun intended, I don't see their era as tag team champions ending here at NXT TakeOver because there's just too much they got to do. So we're going to be moving on to the next match on the card, which is your NXT Women's Championship match between the current champion, Ember Moon, versus Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades. Shayna Baszler is taking the gold. Okay. I see where you're going with that, and I respect that choice, Shayna Baszler. But Ember Moon, I feel like... (sighs) Because then I can see her coming up the next night at Mania. Ugh. No, oh, what the heck? Or, or you can have Alexa Bliss retain her title and Raw, and then have Amber Moon beat her on Raw, like how um, Paige did to AJ. Okay. So you can have Amber Moon lose Mania next week on Raw. Raw, have her beat Alexa Bliss and becoming the new women's champion. Yeah, the only reason why I, I, I'm kind of on the side of Ember Moon, I'm not 100 percent on it. Shayna Baszler, for all, she's not really. I don't think she's ready. No I don't think she, no one's really ready for Asuka, but no one's really ready because she's she's brand new. She, you know, she, there needs to be time where you get adjusted. But then again, Shayna Baszler could go on a tear. What are you doing to that mic, man? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Uh, she could go on a tear and just tap people out, and that's the end of that. So, you know what? I'm going to go with you. Shayna Baszler is your new NXT Women's Champion. Ember Moon getting called up the next night at WrestleMania. So now... We have come to your main event. My main event? Your main event, which is the man. NXT Championship match between Andrade Cien Almas versus Aleister Black. And let's not forget that whenever in this match, Andrade Cien Almas is going to have Zelina Vega in his corner. So I think she's going to play a huge role in this match, but eventually she's going to get called out or she's going to get kicked out. Yep, you get out of here. And then... I think Aleister Black wins. I think he re- he gets that championship opportunity because he's on a streak. He hasn't lost a match yet. Let's just remember that. Just remember the Alamo. No, just remember <laughs> that Aleister Black is on a streak, and I feel like you just can't have him lose. Aleister Black is ready to carry NXT, and I think he can do that here. Well, you know, you can have Seattle lose the title, get called up on Raw, and then have Drew McIntyre return the same night and attack him. Yep. And then set that food out for backlash. Yep. Which is a perfect game for a pay-per-view when Jum Jack is trying to get backlash at Seattle's for injuring him. So, I'm going to go with Mr. Aleister Black. The NXT Universe will fade to black when Aleister Black wins the NXT Championship. Is that his class face or did you just make it up? You'll fade to black. Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, it's on his t-shirt. Oh. If it's on your t-shirt, that's obviously your catchphrase. But that about does it here for NXT TakeOver New Orleans. We gave you our predictions, so why don't you leave a comment down below. Let us know who's going to be walking out NXT TakeOver as your champion or if you're still going to have your job. That about does it here for the Running the Ropes podcast, Episode 8, NXT TakeOver New Orleans edition. I hope you all enjoyed, and keep an eye out for that WrestleMania podcast because it's mania season, y'all. See you next time.